Hey there. Today I'm diving into a topic that's really important for anyone affected by AIDS, Kaposi's sarcoma. If you're wondering how it develops and what impact it has, you're in the right place. Let's get started. First off, what is Kaposi's sarcoma? Kaposi's sarcoma, or KS for short, is a type of cancer that forms in the lining of blood and lymph vessels. It's pretty rare if you don't have HIV, but it's more common in people with AIDS because their immune systems are weaker. So how does Kaposi's sarcoma develop? Well, Kansas is caused by a virus called human herpes virus 8, or HHV8. This virus can lie dormant in your body for years without causing any problems. But when the immune system is compromised, like in AIDS patients, HHV8 can become active and start causing the cells in the blood or lymph vessels to grow abnormally. These abnormal cells form purple, red, or brown patches on the skin, which are the most visible sign of KS. Now let's talk symptoms. The most obvious sign of Kaposi's sarcoma is those colored patches on the skin. They can appear anywhere on the body, but are most often found on the legs, face, or feet. They can be flat or raised and might even merge to form larger areas. But it's not just about the skin. KS can also affect the inside of the body, like the mouth, lungs, and digestive tract. This can lead to internal bleeding, which is pretty serious. Next, the impact on AIDS patients. Because KS is more aggressive in people with weakened immune systems, AIDS patients are at a higher risk of developing severe and widespread KS. It can be painful and affect daily life, making it harder to walk or eat depending on where the lesions are. Plus, if KS spreads to the lungs, it can cause breathing problems, which is definitely not something you want. So, what can be done? The good news is, there are treatments available. Antiretroviral therapy, or ART, is a big one. It helps rebuild the immune system and can keep KS under control. Other treatments include chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery to remove the lesions. It's all about finding what works best for the individual. In conclusion, while Kaposi's sarcoma can be a serious issue for those with AIDS, knowing the symptoms and understanding the development can make a big difference. Early detection and treatment are key. Remember, if you or someone you know is affected, don't hesitate to talk to a healthcare provider. Thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more health information. Take care and stay informed.